because um, if my socks have uh, holes between the sides near the ankle, does it uh, affect my prayer? How big is it? It's the knitting holes. How big is it? It's not big, but there are many. It's, it's, it's not a hole, make any, it's the knitting holes. Okay. Let me share with you what Sheikh Ibn Hussaymin, may Allah have mercy on him, said that the companions of the Prophet وسلم, were not at that time that wealthy, so it was expected that their socks may have some holes. As long as the hole is not big and is not shown uh, a large area of the foot, so it is okay to wipe on top of those socks as well. Of course, when it comes to wudu, tahara, and the prayers, if a person can afford to make sure that he or she is wearing socks that do not show the color of the skin beneath it, they are not see-through, and meanwhile they don't have holes because this is pertaining to the tahara, then they should do so. Or sew them uh, uh, in order to avoid the difference of opinion. The question is also concerning wiping over the socks or the leather socks or the boots. What about, what about in summer? Are we still allowed to wipe on the socks if I'm wearing my socks in, in summer and I don't have this valid excuse and it's affordable to take off your socks like most people are under the impression that uh, we are giving the concession to wipe over the socks in winter because it's pretty cold and my feet will get cold. The answer is whether in winter or in summer, whether you are resident or musafir or traveling. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi gave the time span for wiping over the socks for a resident, yani if you are in your home, in your town, you're not traveling for a day and night, 24 hours from the moment you start wiping on your socks. And 72 hours, three days and three nights, if you are a musafir from the moment you start wiping on top of your socks or your boots, obviously. 